Welcome to example program and in the previous tutorial we have seen that how we can write a python program to display the numbers in this x shape for example if i save the program and run it uh, it will ask us to enter the number of rows for which we want to display the pattern so if i enter in 5 in here and then it will display the patterns like this so here we were displaying the row number or the column number for every row you know whatever that we wanted to display we, we would have displayed that so here we will use this code and we will uh, modify it to display the uh, string values in this x shape and that is this was our pattern from the previous code here we are displaying the row number for example if we start the count from zero this will be the zeroth row first second third and fourth row and similarly zeroth column first column second column third column and fourth column here the main thing is we are starting the count from zero now uh, with the string values for example if i have a n i l s then what we can do is we can use the indexing operator and we can specify the index and we can get a particular character from this uh, string value and with the string values the indexing start from zero that is for example if this anils is present in a variable let's call it as name then if i write name and if i specify the index as zero then it will provide me the value a and similarly if i write the variable name and if i specify the index as two then it will provide zero one two it will provide the character i so by using this indexing operator with this uh, same code that we have constructed in the previous program we will modify this code and we will display the string value in this x shape so after making the modification to this program the string value will be displayed like this okay now let us see how we can uh, modify this program so here uh, in this program in the previous tutorial we were asking the user to enter the total number of rows and the user will enter the number of rows for which he wanted to display this pattern and i have mentioned that for this pattern to look complete we should have odd number of rows so here we want to display the string value in this pattern and that's why the string value that we will be asking the user to enter should have odd number of length or the odd number of uh, characters should be present in that string value so now here uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna ask the user to enter the string value i'm gonna say value equal to i'm gonna use the input function and here i'm gonna say enter the string value with odd number of characters okay now after seeing this message the user is going to enter a string value now after that we have this pattern length variable uh, which will contain the number of rows or the number of columns that uh, uh, that we are going to have in the pattern and that value previously was entered by the user but now this value will depend on the length of the string value entered by the user so if the user is going to enter uh, let's say the string value a n i l s anils then the length value will be 5 and what we can do is we can use the length function and we can calculate that length automatically so i'm going to use the length function and i'm going to uh, use the string value present in this value variable okay so now if i save the program and if i run this code um, enter the string value with odd number of characters i'm going to say a n i l s and now it will display the uh, numbers it will not display the uh, characters of the string value but if you notice here the number of rows equal to 5 and the number of columns is equal to 5 so the uh, length that we are calculating from this um, string value present in this value variable is used for constructing the pattern now instead of displaying this number we have to display the character of the uh, string value 
which is present in this value variable. So here what I can do is instead of specifying the column value or the row value, uh, we can direct, we can specify whatever we want. We can use the indexing operator and we can extract a particular character from this value variable or the string value present in this value variable. So here I'm going to use the um, variable name that is value. I'm going to use the indexing operator and the index will be present in this row variable or we can specify the column variable. The pattern will uh, change a bit. Okay. Now if I save this program and if I run the code and if I enter ANILS, you guys can see we have this pattern displayed like this. Uh, here we are using the row variable as indexing. So uh, in a particular row, you guys can see same character is uh, displayed in different columns. Similarly, in here, we can uh, refer the index by using the column variables value. And if I save the program and run the code, if I enter ANILS, you guys can see the pattern will look just a bit different. And this time the indexing is referred by the column variables value. Here one thing is we are starting the count from zero. You know, the row number and column number, we are starting the count from zero. That's why we can directly use this code with the string values. Now the next thing that we can do is we can run this program one more time. And this time if you want, we can directly specify the numbers like one, two, three, four, five, you know, um, a string value can contain the numbers. So if I uh, run the program, you guys can see uh, this number one, two, three, four, five is displayed in here. And similarly, if I run this program one more time, if I enter five, six, seven, eight, nine, you guys can see five, six, seven, eight, nine is displayed like this. So you can modify this program to display, you know, different string values and different numbers. So this is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, then hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.